Hi everyone, this is Danai and today's video is all about how to improve your hand span in order to play big chords with ease when you're playing the piano. This subject was actually requested by one of you and before I get into exercises and what I do in order to stretch my fingers and my hands, I would like to just quickly talk about something that I get asked quite a lot and that is how big should a hand be if you want to play any piece you want basically. And I would say if you are a professional pianist, what you should be able to reach is an octave, nothing more. Of course, it helps if your hand is bigger um, with certain pieces. Uh, my hand is actually pretty big, so I'm lucky in that department. I can play C to F in both hands, but I know many incredible pianists that have small hands and that can only actually play an octave securely. And I think that in the repertoire for piano, that really is enough. An octave is something that you should play very securely because there are so many places. Liszt, uh, Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto, Brahms, so many, so many pieces that have octave passages. And if you're not able to play the octave, that's going to be hard. But anything above that, you can always find a way around. Either if you distribute it differently between the hands, so somehow you manage to play the lower voice in the left hand and the upper voice in the right hand, or you do an arpeggio, I think it always works. There usually won't be passages where you have to play higher than octaves for a long period of time. So you can always arpeggio that one odd chord or interval where that's going to be required. But octaves should be secure. I think that usually a hand can definitely reach an octave if you just look at finger length and hand size. So basically what I'm trying to say is almost any hand size can be the right hand size to be a professional pianist. You shouldn't worry about that too much. Now, there is a difference, I think, between hand size and your span, because an untrained hand very often only goes kind of this far and cannot get that straight line between the fingers. And as a pianist, it definitely helps to get that straight line because this is how you can reach bigger intervals and play bigger chords. I have a couple of exercises that I do and that I have been doing since I was very young in order to improve my, my hand span. And the very first one is that I basically stretch every finger from the thumb to each of the other four fingers and try to reach that straight line that I was talking about. So with the fifth one, you go like this. With the fourth one, you go like this. With the third one, you go like this and with the second one you go like this so in all of these exercises it's very important not to hurt yourself do not overdo it it's just a gentle stretch that you're looking for and over time the hand will open up so of course when you're just starting out right now don't try to immediately stretch your fingers to that just go as far as you can if it's this far that's fine just hold it for a couple of seconds and then move on to the next finger. So definitely don't hurt yourself. Pain should not be involved when stretching the fingers. Keep in mind this thing that you're seeing here is or an already stretched hand of someone that has been playing for a long time. And then I have two exercises that I'm also doing at the piano. One is to play the interval that you cannot play both notes at the same time because it's too big for you so it's the interval where you have to play the first one and then press the other note and for me that is cf so i do that in both hands and i just go up the c major scale once so as you can see i just start with the c and then go as high up as i can which for me is 11 notes and I simply hold the two keys after having pressed them both for a couple of seconds and then move on to the next one. And then I do the exact same thing with the left hand, only starting with the fifth finger and then working upwards until my thumb meets the C.
And then the second exercise is that I play the interval that I can play with both notes at the same time. And for me, that's CE. And I do that in a chromatic scale so that I also practice the feeling of playing a white and a black key together and that kind of diagonal hand posture. And I do that in both hands as well. So as you can see in this exercise, it's quite important to vary your hand posture according to whether you're playing two white keys, two black keys, or one white and one black key. Of course, these exercises are my current hand size. When I was younger, of course, I did that differently. So I would, for example, play CD as intervals that I couldn't play at the same time and could just barely reach. And then I would just play octaves in the chromatic style. So find the intervals that work for your hand size and then use that. One last thing that I do is I add two notes in between the outer two notes in order to just also get a, a feeling for a big chord. So in the right hand I use C A C F and then in the left hand starting from the top going down I use G B G D. In this exercise, I just slowly press one key after the other and then once I'm playing the entire chord, I just hold it for a couple of seconds to get that stretch in and then move on to the other hand. And I try to not tense up but keep my fingers relaxed while doing so. And these are not chords that I could just press. I have to press every note separately, but it stretches your hand a tiny bit when you do that. And if you should feel any kind of pain or if you feel like you've overdone the the stretching always go back to stretching exercises that relax you so for example you could do this thing just to kind of loosen up the the stretching muscles or you could also just always make sure to stretch the arm so for example doing things like this in both hands I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. Let me know if you have any other stretching exercises or if there are other things concerning handspan that you struggle with. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!